This video is especially for this guy right here. Xmark Metro guy has been so patient with me for probably more than two months now for me to make a video of my mower. Well, here you go, and we're going to go in a little bit more detail too. This is a Ferris gear drive 48 inch walk behind lawn mower powered by a 15 horse twin cylinder Kawasaki engine. Beautiful engine, I really like it. Belt drive, as you can see the belts there. And it's disassembled. Why? Transmission work. Oh dear. Actually it wasn't too difficult to get to. Just a few pieces had to be removed on either side. The gear selector there. I did not, however, remove the bottom part because in order to do that, you'd have to remove the pulley underneath here. And by the time I realized that, I already had the top off and the side pieces off. So I'm going to have to find a way to hold this piece. As you can see, when I turn the pulley, that piece turns. I'm going to have to find a way to hold that while I remove that nut off that pulley there. Here's how the system works. Underneath the engine, there's a belt right here. It runs up to this pulley. And this pulley is what drives this gear up here. You can see it turning. Over here in the top part of the transmission, that gear sticks up through the box. It's a little bit difficult to see. But it sticks up right through here and it drives this gear. So this gear is spinning. As you can see, this is really geared down. So that's spinning like that. Right now, this is in neutral. Now for the shifter. This handle here is normally slid in through here in this section, and it's a gear selector. When you select gears, it turns this, like you can see there. Say I was going from 1 to 5. I would move it like that, this piece would turn. What that does is it turns this piece, like this. These two arms here go around this piece, like you can see there, and it moves this mechanism back and forth. Like I said, right now it's in neutral. So when you select a gear, you move this piece to the right to go in the forward speeds, or to the left to go in reverse when you're in neutral. Let me put it in reverse right quick. So again, this piece would be spinning here. And as this piece is turning, you move the shifter into reverse. When the parts line up, this piece slides over like that. And then it locks in, as you can see. Notice the ratio. Now when this piece slides out, This is the piece which goes up to the tires. So as you can see, we've got nothing going to the wheels right now. When that piece moves in, now we got something going to the wheels. And that's in neutral. Now let's say we're to put it in first gear. Okay, the transmission is now in first gear. Notice the ratio. The drive from the engine, which is this piece right here, spinning quickly while the drive to the wheels spinning slowly. You now notice where the gear selector is. All the way over to the far left, which means it's in first gear. Or not first, fifth. Notice the ratio. Engine shaft spins quickly, 
while the drive shaft spins quickly as well. So that's how they work. Pretty simple actually. All we have to do to get this mower ready to go again is replace this piece. Won't be near as bad as I thought. So I hope you were able to learn a little bit from this as I did as well. And I'll make a video for you, X Mark Metro guy, when I get this thing up and running again.